Hi everyone, I'm Dan Rowe and I'm Maritime Geothermal's lead product engineer. I'm back with a look at Maritime Geothermal's newest heat pump, the Nordic ATW series. The ATW series is an air to water heat pump uh, and it's the very first air source heat pump to be designed and manufactured here at Maritime Geothermal. Uh, we've packed this heat pump full of innovative features not seen in competing products, so let's take a close look at those now. Uh, first, what is an air source heat pump? A device that heats or cools your home using a refrigeration cycle with better heating efficiency than a traditional furnace. Uh, in heating mode, it extracts heat from the outdoor air and puts it in your home. And in cooling mode, it takes heat out of your home, just like a refrigerator, and puts it in the air outside. Uh, this is as opposed to a geothermal or geo-exchange uh, heat pump, which instead exchanges heat with the ground outside. Uh, people usually seek uh, air source heat pumps because they're easy to install and don't have the cost of a ground loop installation. Uh, but as you might know, air source heat pumps are not as efficient as geothermal heat pumps. Uh, the reason is that, for example, in heating mode, it requires more effort or electrical power to extract heat from cold winter air than from the ground, which is relatively warm throughout the year. Uh, so that's the term air source. Uh, what do we mean by an air to water heat pump? Uh, well, it's just an air source heat pump that heats or cools water for hydronic heating and cooling systems, for example, in floor heating. Uh, what's the efficiency difference between air source and geothermal? Uh, Nordic air source COPs range from about 1.3 at an outdoor temperature of minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 29 Celsius to about a COP of uh, 3.7 at an outdoor temperature of 45 degrees Fahrenheit or 7 degrees Celsius. It might average about 2.5 throughout a Canadian winter. Uh, this compares to the COP for a hydronic geothermal system of about 3.7 throughout the year. Um, so this seems like a good time to mention that these units, uh, these air source units are available from Nordic in sizes from 2 to 6 nominal tons. Um, our size is 25 to 75, just like our geothermal products. Okay, on the screen here you can see uh, the pair of uh, air source units, and I should go through how our uh, ATW series is laid out. Unlike competing units, uh, out, uh, our outdoor unit contains only a fan and an air coil. Um, yeah, I guess your, your neighbors will appreciate not having to listen to your compressor. Uh, the compressor and all the electronics are located in the compact indoor unit, seen here, which has a 28 by 28 inch footprint. Uh, this has several advantages. Uh, easier serviceability, less strenuous environment for the compressor and electronics, leading to better reliability. Uh, less tendency for oil and refrigerant to migrate to the outdoor unit and cause mechanical problems. And uh, the cabinet is uh, acoustically insulated with one inch fiberglass insulation, so indoor noise is not an issue uh, with this unit. Uh, I can show you the outdoor unit here and go through its features. Uh, we've done several things to improve on the uh, traditional outdoor unit. Uh, during uh, product development, we became aware that degradation of the air coil fins due to ice is a major concern for air source installers and homeowners. Uh, so in the Nordic unit, uh, there is no drip tray. Uh, so defrost condensate can drip straight off the coil without a chance of refreezing in the tray. Um, we've also I angled the air coil back 15 degrees, so there's a single point of runoff uh, for condensate. And you can sort of see that in the, uh, uh, the view here on the screen, which has uh, some items removed for, uh, for a better view. Uh, we will provide leg sets of different heights for different snow depths, which vary by installed location and amount of condensate. Uh, for the defrost cycle, instead of being timed, uh, which is power hungry and uh, it's even power hungry when you don't need it. Our Gen 2 uh, programmable controller implements uh, intelligent defrost logic. So that compares refrigerant pressure and current outdoor temperature. Uh, we've also used a compact lightweight fan with an EC hub motor. I can show you that here. I can show you how the door swings open too to, for easy serviceability. So it's a good view of the fan there. Uh, this fan enables true variable speed operation based on refrigerant pressure uh, while providing a significant jump in efficiency over traditional PSE type motors. Okay, next I can show you the uh, indoor unit, go through some of its features. Uh, the indoor unit has three-way refrigerant access valves, which you can see here. Uh, the unit comes pre-charged. 
um, connect refrigerant lines. Uh, you vacuum the lines through access valves. Uh, you open the valves to let refrigerant into the system so you don't have to carry uh, refrigerant separately with you. Uh, indoor unit uh, contains compressor and all the electronics, so there's no more servicing of uh, equipment while sitting in a snowbank. Uh, I'll take, give you a view with the uh, doors off the cabinet here, so you can see what's inside. Um, the uh, programmable controller with a user interface and internal water temperature probe mean that there's no aquastat or water temperature probes to install. Uh, there's high and low uh, pressure sensors, which mean no refrigerant, uh, refrigeration gauges are necessary to see what your high and low pressure are. You can see how our electrical box swings out there. Um, so to wrap up, I should uh, mention that the ATW series features the same robust components you can find in our W series geothermal heat pumps. Uh, for example, uh, heavy duty water coils here, uh, swing out electrical box allowing four side servicing. Uh, two-stage Copeland Ultratech compressors, uh, suction accumulator and start capacitors uh, as standard equipment, uh, D-superheaters uh, with uh, ECM circ pumps. Uh, and unlike standard products, our air source machines feature um, electronic expansion valves, as you can see here, uh, for precise superheat control, so we can squeeze the most efficiency out of the unit at all times. So. Uh, that concludes my presentation. Thanks for uh, taking this tour with us. If you want to learn more about the ATW series heat pump, you can visit our website at nordicghp.com uh, where there's a contact form. Or you can connect with us on Twitter at nordicghp or on Facebook at Nordic Heat Pumps. Bye for now.